the bitch the audacity to disrespect how dare you ask me some shit like that and i just was like why when you just said that you want a bitch that's like damn on her knees when you come home I what's up what's up what's up my precious peeps welcome back to my channel hope everybody had a good valentine's day you know y'all I got like a Valentine's Day curse. You know what I'm saying? I don't ever really have no... Now, I can't recall not one excellent Valentine's Day that I've had. I've had great dates. I've had people give me gifts on first dates. I've been taken to places on first dates that you would be like, damn, on a first date? Yeah. But Valentine's Day dates? Usually, I'm in relationships. Them don't, they be horrible. But so I wanted to come and tell y'all about my first Tinder date. Now I told y'all, I'm kind of recently out of a four year relationship. I have been single just a year now. And when I got single, you know, I was I was ready to I was ready to mingle, baby. I made a POF, I made a bumble, I made a uh uh Tinder, <laughs> the fucking site that the story is about i can't even remember i made a tinder and i was just like that like i'm finna be the biggest hoe the biggest chat line hoe <laughs> that there is <laughs> no for real because you know i feel like i had on been out of touch a little bit you know what i'm saying like my guy that i had been with you know he kind of older he laid back like or whatever whatever like we have we have great conversations about things, but I'm just like, you know, is it going to be the same? So I'm going to go out here and get on these websites, learn how to start, you know, how to kick a little game, talk to these guys or whatever, and go on a few dates. Even though, like, I wouldn't really meet people on there because once I got on these things and I started seeing how aggressive these guys was, I was kind of like turned off. It is not flattering at all if any dudes watch this channel like y'all need to tone it back a bit and then again like y'all be so dry it be like hey beautiful what's up you like oh hey you know nothing how you doing how your day going you know the regular stuff or it be like hey beautiful how your day going and you say oh great oh blessed oh good or whatever it is you say you know how is yours how are you and they like oh good let me get your number because you know i ain't really on here like that i ain't i ain't on here too often no you can't have my number like if i <laughs> if i get my number out to everybody who in my goddamn inbox like everybody in the south side north side here everybody in st pete Temple, Clearwater, Bradenton, I have my fucking phone number. So, no, sir, you can't have my phone number. Not right off the bat like that. And I was finding that a lot. So, you know, I was getting aggravated with that stuff. Like, I don't know, dudes, they be, they be too much. Like, I don't know, do y'all rather have a dude do too much or too little? You know what I'm saying? Because then you got the ones that don't do nothing. They just do the bare minimum. They don't give enough. And then you got the... The other ones that's just like overly too much like it's like damn you'll never find one that's like right in the middle so i don't know so it was this one particular guy on tinder he was nice looking he looked like he had his shit together and the way he was able to converse online you know like you could tell he had a lot of personality he wasn't dry you know you could catch the little jokes that he was throwing so i was like okay Okay, this is promising. <laughs> he was real persistent. Like, um, so on um, Tinder, Tinder was the one that you could only, um, like just, you only, you had to match or whatever. But once you match, you know, y'all could send messages back and forth. So, you know, we was messaging back and forth on there for a little while. Now, he did ask for my number, but he didn't do it the regular way. Oh, I'm never on here, baby girl. Let me get your number. Oh, 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 y'all, this used to be my favorite. Good morning, beautiful Nubian black goddess queen of the earth. <laughs> my African Nubian. 
<laughs> it's like you don't speak like that on a daily basis. Cut it out, bro. Cut it out, bro. Like and he wasn't doing all of that, you know what I'm saying? But he was still he was doing enough to to well, you know, I could tell he was just uh well it seemed like he was a, a, a nice guy, right? Okay, so like I said, he was persistent. But he wasn't, he wasn't doing too much. So at that point in time, I was just like, okay, cool. Because he giving a little bit of effort. And that's something that you don't see a lot these days. I, I, I'm mad. Zero effort. Zero fucks given, okay? Man, it's horrible. So kudos to you. You know, if you ever see this video or this ever run across you, kudos to you, you know, for, for the persistence miss persistency i don't know but whatever <laughs> right now kudos to you my my guy but you still was like on some other shit so anyway after a few weeks gave him my phone number okay gave him my number we we talked for a little while or whatever and then so we we decided to and we didn't talk that long though once i gave him my number i will say that like maybe a week and he was like so when you gonna let me you know see you or whatever see you in person you know make sure you look like your pictures or whatever so i was like okay Dun, dun, dun. This is the time, right? If you want to be on these websites or these social medias. Yeah, it's so crazy because I'm like so shy, right? I'm like the shyest person and you probably like, but bitch, you got a YouTube channel. <laughs> like, it's different, you know? I'm like here in the privacy of my own home. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm talking to the camera even though that's kind of, at first that kind of was a bear to tackle. But now it's, it's, I'm getting more comfortable as the times go on. You know, sometimes I have to have me a little drinky drink. I know y'all probably be seeing my eyes be all glossy. You know, just to calm the nerves down or whatever. But, yeah, it's getting a little bit easier. But I'm telling y'all, I'm so shy. So, like, I talk all day on the phone. And then don't want to meet nobody. And bitches be saying I'm a catfish. <laughs> so, I was like, okay, okay, the time has come. Time to meet dude. Shit, we're gonna call him Brian. I don't know if he really need a name, but I don't know. That just came to my mind. So, go. He don't need no name. So, we made plans. So, we made plans to meet up at Charlie's on this one particular day. And now, y'all, I don't mean Charlie's the steakhouse. The, you know, the nice steakhouse. I mean Charlie's the Philly cheese steak place. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Get that right. I just want y'all to know. You know what I'm saying? So we get there. We um he t he called me as he was coming down. I think he stayed a little ways away. And he called me and he told me, y'all, that he was going to be like five, ten minutes late because the traffic was bad. And he got rims. So he don't like to speed, you know, because, you know, if you speed, it'll mess up your rims or whatever. And I'm just like, all right, whatever, like. You could have just left it at the traffic. <laughs> but that's neither here nor there. So I told him, I'm going I'm to go ahead and go inside and get me a, a lemonade or whatever. Go see what I want. So I do that. I go inside and he come. And when he get done, I mean, like, he is all, he doing the most. Like, we was not going to um, Charlie's Philly Cheesesteak place, you know. So, um. Uh, I was just like, okay, he's a very flashy guy. He was Haitian. And, yeah, he was just very flashy. You know, you could tell he had on the whole. Like, I, I be wearing my little jewelry or whatever, but, you know what I'm saying? My little, <laughs> my little rain sometimes I feel like, like ah, I made my hand drop. But, you know, he, he had, like, sun on every finger, bracelet, 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 necklace, 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 necklace. Choker. <laughs> Two chains, but I got me a few on. Oh, like, that's that's what he was giving. So, he come in, you know, he he was like, he see me. Again, you know, y'all know we had all saw each other pictures and switched pictures or whatever. So, he see me, walk up to me, give me a hug. We order our food, we sit down. We have a little bit of conversation. But, y'all, when I tell y'all this man wasn't trying to talk, this man was inhaling this food like he had ate, like he was one of those little kids on the commercials from Ethiopia that they be like said 95 cents to help a child a day. Girl, I'm telling y'all, I just don't know. 
He pulled up in some rims. He got 87 chains on him. He got on this nice little outfit. I know he got money. Like, I know you ain't not eight. So, like, I don't, why, I don't understand why he eating so fast. So, um, I make a little joke. And I was like, damn, uh... I was like, chew first, don't just swallow or some shit I said, you know. And he and he chuckled, but you could tell it was flaw, right? So he done. He don't smash. And I'm still eating. And mind y'all, now I'm I'm gonna say this. I am not no sadly eating old tiny bite. Oh, I'm, I'm full now. I am not her baby. If I'm going on a date or I'm going to meet someone and food is involved, I'm gonna eat. I'm going to eat. If you are, first of all, if you already meet me, baby, you look at me and you know I like to eat. Okay? You know what you getting. Okay? Like, I, I, I ain't doing all that. I'm not trying to be cute. You need to know what you getting yourself into. Okay? I'm going to eat my food. I'm not about to sit here and be, no ma'am. No ma'am. So, anyway, I'm sitting there and I'm eating my food like a regular person. <laughs> I'm chewing it couple bites <laughs> and you know like he he bit and swallow i'm telling y'all i'm down to my last bite yeah you know and i'm chewing and he takes the boxes and he goes and he throw them away and he basically come back to the table and he like standing up over me like you ready i'm like damn I'm ready for what like i'm still chewing <laughs> <laughs> like y'all, I'm still chewing. Like I, I don't know. Ready for what? He was like, you, um, you know. So what we was gonna do this at? I was like, I'm sorry. I am so confused. <laughs> do what? Do what? Um, did I agree to go somewhere else with you? Did we make other plans? I said, we only, we only said we was going to meet up here. And he was just like, um, uh, he basically was like, man, you know what time it is? Oh, for, for. <laughs> I was like, oh, man, you, boy, please stop playing what time it is. What you mean? Like, I was like, no, I said, baby, I, I, I'm slow. I said, you got to speak to me. Like, I'm like, I'm hooked on phonics. I, I need you to spell it out. What exactly are you asking me? Ready for what? Go do what? I was like, what the fuck you mean? He was like, um, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Do you live around here? You want to go, you know, you want to go back and chill at your house or you want me to get us a room? Now, y'all, it's just so many things wrong with this. I'm like, um, nah, I'm not 16 years old. I'm not out here looking for a fairy tale Cinderella glass slipper fit on my shoe type love. But damn, a Philly cheese steak? I didn't even get the meal. <laughs> I didn't even get the fries. I just got, I just got, you know what I'm saying? I just got like the little sandwich and a lemonade. I ain't even get a strawberry lemonade, bro. I was just like, dude, for real, for real, where they do that at? I was like, so, um, I'm supposed to fuck for some, for some Philly cheese thing? And he, he was like, no, nah, you know what I'm saying? Like, I thought, I thought, you know what I'm saying? We knew that we was going to be fucking regardless. You know what I'm saying? I just went ahead and feed. <laughs> I just went ahead and, you know what I'm saying? Fed you, you know what I'm saying? Off of, you know what I'm saying? Off of good good faith, you know what I'm saying, because you cool like that, like, he basically told me I should feel flattered, like, I should feel special, like, like, I should feel like somebody, because I got a Philly cheesesteak, you know what I'm saying, um, so after I laugh for, like, 15 minutes, um, in this space, you know what I'm saying, I get up and I go to walk out, and then I was like, nah, for real, for real, I was like, um, I was like, hoes just be fucking for Philly cheese steak like that or whatever. And he was like, hoes fuck for less. <laughs> he was like, baby, like I told you, like I, you know, I just did that to be nice. Like, what you mean? Look at me. He was like, look at me. Like, I don't gotta, I don't even really gotta be on that shit to flex with you. You know what I'm saying? But I work all the time and I do this and I do that. So I don't really meet people a lot and whatever, whatever. Got it. 
I was like, understood. Once understood, don't even have to be explained. I said, well, you know, I'm sorry that you uh, you wasted your little twelve, thirteen dollars. You know what I'm saying? I had got like a buffalo chicken Philly or whatever, and that's like eleven, eleven eighty four or whatever, cause I get that all the time. And then I had got like a a regular lemonade, and I think lemonade like two, three dollars. I think it's a special lemonade that's like an extra like. A dollar or whatever so like bro you you know if you need your little 15 dollars back i was like all your little gas money you know what i'm saying because it's nothing because i eat this on the regular you know what i'm saying and you really ain't did nothing that i don't do for myself and i was like i really don't understand i was like but thank you because i'm gonna go home and delete that shit um off top and he was like well shit you he was like that's what i'm talking about that's why i thought you knew he was like because that's what type of that's what type of site this is you know what i'm saying you are you supposed to already know what type of time I'm on. And I was like, well, I did, but thank you. So, yeah, when I tell you that shit right now, I told you while we was on the site, we was having a little bit of conversation. That whole thing turned into a little bit of conversation because homeboy had went on the motherfucking say that, you know, he need a woman, too, that was going to be, like, pleasing him whenever, wherever. <laughs> he was on some Maxwell shit, okay? <laughs> and um, I just was like, Okay, well, I was like, but let me ask you this. Do you, you know, partake in the eatery of the lower region? <laughs> I really don't even know how else to say that shit. And that nigga was like, oh, no, the fuck? No. <laughs> I was like, I don't understand, like, where and what. Who raised you niggas? Like, y'all, I'm telling y'all, like, the, the, the people that I meet. And I don't understand what it is about me. Like, am I that ugly or is it because I'm a... A bigger girl, you know what I'm saying? Like, dudes be feeling like, oh, a bigger girl. Like, we just got to accept what the fuck come at us. Like, we just be sitting at home twilling in our thumbs and praying, oh, God, please send me a man, any man. I, I really don't know. Like, dudes feel like an overweight chick just is, it's like, like, we all just insecure. Or, like, we all are just going to take the bullshit. Or, like, we all are just going to deal with what the fuck ever come our way. And, baby, I'm here to tell you that that's a motherfucking myth. <laughs> that is not a fact, okay? Okay? Baby, I don't be big my whole goddamn life, okay? I used to be 200 plus. And when I was 200 plus, baby, I was pulling more niggas then and I'm pulling right now. And like, I had more more. They is hollering at me when I was big. Every day, every time I went somewhere in the store, in Metro, in the gas station, honey, I had dudes that would come up to me and just pump my gas and be like, "Damn, you just beautiful. I just wanted to be in your presence and walk the f and go away." <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I had dudes come. I'd be out with two, three, four females. The dudes come by, all of us a drink. But they, they keep my man for the rest of the night. You know what I'm saying? But that's neither here nor there. All I'm saying is it's just the confidence. It's, it's you. If you love yourself, you know. So don't think that just because the female is big that you going you finna buy her a Philly cheese steak and then finna take her home and bust it wide open. Like, I don't understand the logic. You know what I'm saying? Like, the other day in the vlog, I told y'all. That I had that lunch date or whatever. And dude texted me and told me that he don't do drama. Okay? And then, do y'all know he texted me a couple of days later and sent me a picture of his meat plant? Baby, that's drama. That's toxic. We know, we're not speaking, I don't know you. And then, that's what I'm saying. Like, y'all be letting us know that, that we don't dodge the bullet. Like, when somebody show you who they really are, you believe that. He was inconsiderate of my time at that day. You know what I'm saying? It was just so many little red flags. And people will be like, oh, man, you just be tripping. Are you just picky? Are you just this, that, and the third? No, I just pay attention. I just don't been through enough to know that when some shit ain't right for me. Because I'm 30-something. I am 34 years old. Do that mean that I have to have low standards? Do that mean that I can't know what I want? Do that mean that I can't just sit around and wait for what's right for me? Because I refuse to settle. No, I'm not doing that shit. So, y'all, when the man say that he want a bitch them at home on her knees, waiting for him, and that he don't reciprocate, I had to walk out from that man. I was there. I... 
I don't even know. You see, I'm so I don't even know what to say, y'all. I'm I'm stuttering now, and this was so long ago. Cause first of all, I was already done with you, and you talking about am I ready? Ready for what? You got me a surprise, a gift, and something finna come. What? What am I ready for? Cause I don't know what the fuck you talking about. So after I don't pull off from the man, I call my brother, and I'm like, I met this nigga on Tinder, and my brother was like, Tinder, girl, what you doing on damn Tinder? I was like, so I was, I was looking for me a little thing, a little day, a little something to do. I, I don't know. I'll be doing stuff. I'm in school. I got this going on, that going on, this, that, and the third. I don't ever go nowhere. He was like, I'm going to need you to get off of there immediately. That's a hookup site. I said, I know. I was trying to hook up with somebody. I want a friend. He was like, no, stupid. That's a hookup site. Like, smash on site. And I was like, oh. That explains so much. I said, because dude, damn sure tried to smash on site. Like, like I stole something from him and he called and let me know, bitch, it's on site when I see you, bitch. Ain't no talking, ain't no, it's on site. So I kind of was like, damn, maybe I owe him an apology. I feel like I led him on. <laughs> Because I'll show green as fuck. I didn't know. 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 So, um, moral of the story is, do you got their research? <laughs> do you got their research? Say, goddamn damn ass off these social media sites. If I don't know. If you ain't ready for what's, what it is. Because these days, baby, you better be giving it up. You better be giving it up for a cheesesteak. Or less. My dog said, or less. Bitches get less. I'm having a hard time believing that. So, after I got off the phone with my brother, and I tell y'all I hung up, I went immediately to Tinder, and I deleted that shit. I don't even know if you could delete it all the way. I think um, I just took all my pictures off and logged out and never logged back in. And I don't know right now. The Tinder's still out there, but if, but if it is, and you like me, and you green as fuck, and you ain't never heard of it, because this thing, y'all, I ain't even had, the only reason I had no POL is because um, my sister had no been on it um, a long time ago before I had got in that relationship. She used to be on it, and then I had tried it out, but it really wasn't, like, I I really wasn't no, even on it long before I had met the guy that I had ended up being with for a couple years, and, um, so I didn't know how bad it was, you know, I can't really say that it really wasn't for me, I was about to say it really wasn't for me, but I really hadn't been on it just yet, and then I had heard about Bumble, um, watching, I be watching, I be watching my own YouTubers, you know what I'm saying, and one of the girls was talking about that, and I was like, well, that seemed like that's more my speed, you know. So I was like, I'm going to try that. But hell, recently in the news, didn't they, they say somebody died off of Bummer? I don't know. Say your ass off of all that shit. That's the moral of this goddamn story. But see, and then, and then this, I'm going to say this right quick, y'all. Then I'm going to go ahead and end this video. Because I know I'm hyped right now. <laughs> but, I mean, people be crazy in real life. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's like more people... You each, you actually get a little bit more of a person personality out of them sometimes. I feel like on that computer screen because they sitting behind there and they could be whoever they want to be. People in real life are crazy. These same people who you can meet downtown or at a bar or at a club, at a restaurant, you know, at a gas station, at a grocery store, at a bill place, at a Starbucks. Them same motherfucking people be at home online. Them same motherfucking people got access to a phone that can download a POL for Bumble or Tinder or whatever, whatever, whatever. So, I try not to pass judgment on that shit, but I was like, yeah, this ain't for me. I went ahead and deleted that shit, and I have not been on it since. Now, I ain't gonna lie, I fuck with POL on and off, on and off. I have met a good person or two off there. I actually have met someone off of there we we had just really became good friends and that's always what it was but um yeah now i can say that that's not really for me i don't know that's like um they just say anybody like i said anybody could download this shit anybody a homeless man could have a cell phone and get him a pol and my dog could have him a page now play with it hmm. 
And if you really want to know, all the homeless people be having money. Goddamn, in California, the homeless man had a cell phone and a cash out. Catch them teas. So, so thank y'all for joining me for my little story time. I tried to make this one short as possible because I know my little videos be long, but that's all right because y'all love them. And if you don't, you know, you can just go on and bypass the channel. And, you know, I'm not for everybody and that's cool. But if you fucking with me, you know, make sure you go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, share. Tell somebody that knows somebody that knows somebody else. Don't tell that bitch that don't know nobody now or that don't talk to nobody. Because what that is, that's not going to do no good. I need you to tell somebody that knows somebody that knows somebody that knows somebody that talk a lot. Okay? That way we could build and we could grow. And we could do this thing, you know? So, y'all have a blessed week. And I'll catch y'all next time.